The density of freedom. I was once asked why would a person need 30 kinds of salami? I was once asked what is the density of water? In the mid-1980s, Johanna lives with her husband in the Prenzlauer Berg district of East Berlin. She works at a publishing house. Her husband is a writer and translates books from Hungarian into German. At the time, Zoltan came to visit us in East Berlin for a few nights. He was a Hungarian-speaking Romanian. My husband had translated a book of his. I still remember how surprised we were that he had been given a visa for both East and West Berlin. We went to Alexanderplatz, as I often did with our friends when they were visiting us. They have a lot to talk about. He raves about the advantages of East Berlin. His native Romania is a much poorer country. Sultan is particularly impressed by the Centrum Warenhaus department store. Johanna is surprised and asks him what effect West Berlin then must have had on him. Mid-1980s. Ernest comes from the small village of Himmelfahrt in Brandenburg and is on a school trip to East Berlin. With a few friends, Ernest sets off on a trip to Alexanderplatz. It is the first time that they are in Berlin, unaccompanied by their parents. One of them wears a cross pendant on a necklace. Another carries an electric guitar. By GDR standards, that was quite a big cross. Oh no, I think the guitar looked different. It was just a simple guitar made of wood. Anyway, it was a nice time, but sometimes I can hardly remember it. Then there are moments when it is very close to me. In the meantime, Sultan and Johanna have continued walking towards the TV tower. Johanna asks him if he had also been at the large department store, KDW, over in West Berlin, if he had seen the food department. Sultan grimaces. Just terrible. That kind of abundance in the West. And so overwhelming, he says. Johanna asks what exactly he means by that. Sultan describes the daily meat counter. There was a huge choice of salami alone. Johanna, he says in a serious voice. Why would a person need 30 kinds of salami? However, Sultan was really enthusiastic about the atmosphere on the streets of West Berlin. There were artists painting pictures on the street. Even the police stood by and watched. And people stopped, talked to the artists and gave them money. Sultan also talks about the buskers, who showed off their skills on the street as well. Again. The police did not intervene. Everything was allowed. This is impossible in Romania, says Sultan. That's not possible in the GDR either, Johanna thinks, but keeps it to herself. Ernest and his friends are used to living in a small village and only know Berlin from short visits. Sometimes they are allowed to accompany their parents when the parents want to buy something that is not available in their hometown. Enthusiastically, they now stroll through the capital of the GDR. They laugh, they marvel, they feel carefree. Suddenly, they are stopped by a police officer. They are asked to identify themselves, but they have no papers on them. They are not used to controls like this in the East German countryside. The police officer understands and lets them go. So Ernest and his friends move on. Everyone is relieved. One of them starts playing his guitar.
but minutes later, several figures suddenly appear around them in the middle of Alexanderplatz. They are surrounded, like by a pack of wild animals. Sultan wants to visit the observation deck of the TV tower. Together they go up. Sultan loves the view. From up here you can even see as far as the west, he raves. For Johanna, however, this view has a very different significance. Although, unlike her guest, she lives in the city, she is not allowed to go to the western part to visit her relatives. Every time Johanna stands up here, she can watch planes take off or land at the Tempelhof airport in the distance. But from here, she can also clearly see the illuminated border, the Berlin Wall, especially in the evening. If only she were a bird, she thinks. Isn't it odd how close something can be and yet so unreachable? The men take Ernest and his friends to a steel door at Alexanderplatz station. It seems to belong to the rooms behind the empty shop windows. What they don't know is that this is not a shop, but a station of the German People's Police, the National Police Force of the GDR. We got scared. The frightening thing was that we just disappeared into the door with the men, even though the area was teeming with passers-by. They are separated from each other and interrogated individually in basement rooms. A man asks Ernest several questions. Name, residence, parents' professions. Suddenly, the man smiles. He asks Ernest, what is the density of water? The question surprises Ernest. This is like school. He does not answer. He realizes that any answer would be wrong and could put him in danger. The man smirks. Come on, boy, he says in an arrogant tone. You're not stupid, are you? How can it be that a person can walk on water? Hmm? Like your Jesus? You have to realize how impossible that is. Not really. Anyone can walk over frozen water. But I didn't say that at the time. It was the Cold War. You would think three times about what you said and what you didn't. The man asks Ernest if he wants to leave the country. Crossing the border would be much more difficult than walking on water. At some point, the interrogation is over. It is already evening when the group is back outside on Alexanderplatz. I can't remember what else happened in the conversation or how we got out of the situation. They hadn't just taken the guitar and the cross from us. Something had changed. We now looked like everyone else in the GDR who didn't want to attract attention. Back then, on top of the TV tower, even the moon seemed closer to me than the west. Maybe people don't need 30 kinds of salami, but they really do need the freedom to decide how and where they want to live. We never learned the exact background. The memory of the complete interrogation did not come back either. Above all, I remember the good time. Sometimes it is very close to me. Thank mm -hmm. you.